Right then, it's the uh, 10th of February and it's shearing time. Now, we normally finish shearing by now and we've got all the shearing gear here behind me and we've got the sheep are all here and we're about halfway through. As you can see, um, they're not all done. We've been shearing for about five or six days and you're looking at the shearer. Um, I know I don't normally do the shearing, but for some reasons, I um, haven't been able to get Roscoe this year. He's a bit busy and I uh, don't know if I trust strangers to come and do the sheep. They're all in lamb and you know they're dorsets and you know they got wool everywhere and people aren't used to shearing dorsets. They get a bit stressed about it sometimes. They've got wool all over their ears and that sort of thing. So like these boys here look. This is my job for this morning is these four. Now I'm not a professional shearer. I've never sheared anybody else's sheep before. Um, I have sheared my own, obviously, uh, a few times. Um, wouldn't say I've done a lot. Uh, I think 2011, I sheared them all as well as I am this year. But we had about 300 or so then, so that was a bigger job. And right now we're at the lowest amount of sheep we've ever had. So we're on, what have we got, 84 to do, 83 to shear altogether. I've done 55 ewes. I think there's 64 ewes to do, 15 ewe lambs left, and the four rams. So that's what uh, the situation is right now. I do a couple hours a day. Obviously, I've got other jobs to do as well. So I don't, I don't just start shearing and keep going until it's done. And that saves my, uh, my back a bit as well. Um, although it's gone pretty well. I've been pleased with it actually, how, far, how well the ewes have gone. But I'm bigger, heavier, and stronger than the ewes. And I am definitely not heavier or stronger than most of those boys there. Uh, I have. I did run them through the scales there, uh, well the biggest one, and he is heavier than me. Uh, he's over 100 kilos. So I'm going to do that this morning, and I haven't filmed any of the shearing that I've done so far. Basically, you know, I thought I ought to, I suppose, really, since I'm doing it. So I'm going to put the, put the camera down, and I don't know if I'll video myself doing the rams. I will, but you might not see it. <laughs> We'll see how it goes.
Oh, what am I doing now? Seeing Roscoe crunch your clarky without me holding it. Boys are done, and uh, they're back in the pen now. They might fight a little bit because they smell a bit different, so they don't really know who they are. They won't be able to smell who's who, and they'll all think they're the boss again. Um, but they're not fighting too bad actually, so they might just have a little set to until they work out who's uh, in charge. And uh, the rest of the who's are in there, and then there's just what have we got left. Six left. And there's one there that's been done just to well, just to show the difference what they are really. See how much bigger they are with the wool on. They look bigger anyway, they're obviously still the same size, but the wool takes up quite a bit of room. And uh, got a few packs of wool. Anyway, I don't know how this is gonna work, but I'm I've now strapped on the uh, head camera and uh, I don't know if it's going to come out but I'm going to give it a go and try and shear some with a head camera on until the battery runs out anyway so we'll see how that goes right I think it's switched on now that probably helped wouldn't it okay try again luckily well I don't know about luckily but not looking like I'm going to run out of sheep anytime soon. After I've done these six, uh, still got 15 new lambs to do as well.
been too hot to wear this. So that's all the ooze, they're all sheared. And now we've brought the ooze lambs in uh, to the shed. There's 15 of those, that's all I'm gonna be keeping this year. And they were obviously all born in April. And uh, hopefully they are all in lamb as well, to lamb at the end of April. Uh, so just over 12 months old. And all the ooze are now tucking into a fresh bale of hay. We've split, we've split out some of the uh, thinner ones and put them up in the uh, other shed onto silage because that's better feed. Um, there are none there that are too thin. They're just a bit thinner and they need to put on a bit more weight. Whereas these are pretty much, they'll put on a little bit more, but we don't want them to get too fat. Um, and they will when we turn them out to grass. When we get to March, if we turn them out on too much grass and they're already in really good condition, then they get fat and they get really big lambs and we can have problems that way. Um, but So we'll keep them on hay. We might give these a little bit of silage as well, but they'll mostly be on hay and the others will mostly have silage with a little bit of hay. And the boys here. Uh, Rocky. So the boys, they'll be going to their summer, well, spring pasture. Any minute now. Give them a couple of weeks, I suppose, indoors, better way. Haven't got any wool, keep them warm, have you? So, there we go. Um, I'm not sure what that footage came out like, but um, it'll be on, on this video earlier on if it's any good. And then um, shearing's done for another year. Well, we'll be tomorrow once I get this lot knocked over. See you directly. So I'm not sure if I s made this clear, but I'm not actually a professional shearer. I'm just, I'm the farmer. I own these sheep and I've got the wool off of them the best I can. Um, I have shorn sheep before, but I've never been trained how to do it. Just thought I'd have a go. Well, about 20 years ago, I thought I'd have a go. And I wasn't very good at it, but uh, after doing a few, I gradually got better I think I mean I'm not awesome at it but they haven't got any wool on them have they I probably took a bit longer well definitely took a bit longer than a professional shearer but uh, also I got a little bit less stress than a professional shearer probably would have done doing my woolly eared sheep uh, and the, they're all in lamb and hopefully they're all still in lamb and the wool in worth a lot anyway so if I uh, did a few double cuts or uh, reduce the value of the fleece because I didn't do it properly. That isn't the end of the world. But it is a good feeling. It's a lovely feeling actually, um, to know that you can do all the jobs yourself and get, get it all done. Even though I would have rather somebody else did it on this occasion, but there we go. It's done. And I can say I did it.